Hey guys, what's going on today? The DJI Mavic Mini 2. How does it compare to even the original Mavic and is a tiny little drone actually worth your money? Let's find out. My name is Vic Barry and for techniques, tips and thoughts on all things video, please consider hitting subscribe, especially if you find this video useful. Alrighty, let's get this open. DJI Mini 2. First step is uh, get this out of the box. Now the first impression here is this is a really, really nice bag. Feels waterproof, I'm not sure if it is, but uh, it feels waterproof. Let's get this open, see what we've got inside here. We've got two zips. Okay, so let's spin this around and we have, oh, look at the size of this thing. Hang on, where's my phone? Look at this. This is an iPhone 11 Pro. I cannot believe how small this thing is. Look at it. it. This is going to get blown away. This is tiny. Okay, before we open the drone and get all the stuff off and get this out for a flight, let's uh, put it down and see what else we've got in the bag. So we have the controller. This is my first time using this controller because I'm kind of stuck with the original Mavic. Well, not stuck, but yeah. Okay. We've got the, the joysticks in there. We've got our USB-C port, buttons, and then this, which looks to be really useful if I had nails. So your phone, whatever you're putting in there, sits in here, which is a lot more useful than having it down the bottom. It does feel a bit more natural up the top. So that's that. What else we got in the bag? This is like Christmas. We have, I'm presuming just stuff that nobody will read that I just ripped because excited i cannot believe the size of this thing okay i should have pulled that so there's a guy we have this our favorite thing guys something you should absolutely not eat we've got some accessories here oh okay we have usb-c to usb-c and usb-c to micro usb then we've got what looks to be oh this looks cool this is our charging block. Look how useful this is going to be. So you get your batteries in here. How do you get them out? <sighs> we have the side here, USB in, USB out. So this can actually power other devices that take USB. And then we have our power button here, which we can see if anything has got power in it. And these batteries do have some juice. This is tiny, this is going to fit in your bag. If I can figure out how to get the batteries out. What else we got? We've got the, the power brick, which is fine. We have USB-C cable and that's it. And there's a tab here, accessories. We've got some extra stuff here, which include extra joysticks. We've got some extra propellers, which is always handy to have in case, you know, <clears throat> definitely nothing else inside here. Look at the size of this thing. I can't believe it. All right, let's get the stickers off here. Let's take this bad boy out for a flight. And just for a comparison, let's throw up the original Mavic Pro, just to see what the quality is like. The Mini has a higher bit rate, same modes. Is it going to be better? Let's find out.
Okay, always get stressed flying drones because you never know if it's going to fly into something. And that's the one kind of thought I have about the Mavic Mini 2. You have no radar on this thing, so you don't know if it's going to go careering into a tree, your head, or anything else. However, it does kind of push you to be that little bit more careful. And I gotta say, as small as it is, as light as it is, the old uh, Mavic, the original Mavic Pro, feels like a dinosaur compared to it. Let me know in the comments what you think of the footage comparison. Both of these are more or less on auto settings. And yeah, zero issues with both drones, to be fair. But with the OcuSync 2, just had that, I don't know, just that little bit more confidence in the range. There was one point where the direction kind of went off red on the Mavic Mini 2. No idea what that meant. I presume it just couldn't see what direction it was going in, telling back to the controller, but didn't lose any reception, control, anything. And... I don't know, it just uh, seemed to be more confident with it, even though you're lacking that resource of the obstacle avoidance from the whole thing. But uh, yeah, this, this is going to be the new go-to drone. It's so light, it is tiny. Either way, if these things hit a tree or a wall, they're probably bust anyway. So let's hope that doesn't happen. One thing I would like to happen though, is for you to check out some of these videos up here, which show how amazing the original DJI Mavic Pro is, was, it served me so well. And yeah, anyway, I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next vlog. And until then, don't stop fighting for yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, another typical Irish. It's a grand soft day.